you. Yes, indeed. A dear friend of mine asked if I could ask you this question, and that is, what realm do you come from? And he's listed a few of them here. None that he would know. <laughs> Should I? Or be satisfied <laughs> with. <clears throat> he's had astral, archangel, angel, spirits of form. Moon, Whatever he considers wisdom. to be the best one. <laughs> He does have supreme being here. (laughs) We'll take that one. (laughs) I thought you might. (laughs) It's fair for him to ask those questions because what he's wanting to do is put us in the context of what he understands. And man has been doing that with that which is non-physical from the beginning of your physicalness. In other words, you cannot see other than through the eyes that you have, through the perspective that you have. So you have to find some way of making sense of it. That's what Esther is doing all day, every day, as she allows us to flow through. We're not whispering words that she's repeating. We're offering our knowing, which she is receiving vibrationally, and then she's looking for the physical word equivalent. And so there are many physical beings that want us to describe where we come from because you are currently focused in a time-space reality. But that implies that we also, from our non-physical perspective, are focused in a time-space reality. And we are not. We are in a timeless, spaceless reality. And so we could conjure something, we could make something up for the purpose of making him feel better, but Mm -hmm. there is no point in it because it causes the continuation of the distortion of trying to get energy to be from some place, you see. It is only human that tries to put the hierarchy on things. So, hmm, tell your friend that Abraham explained who they are in this way. We are the vibrational essence that equals the culmination of all that has been lived both physically and non-physically. We are an energy that is expanding consciously and constantly because of the willingness of physical experience and its contribution to the never-ending want or desire. We are the expanded version of who each of you are and we are the pure essence of that expanded version. We hold not any of the concerns that you hold but we have benefited from the concerns that you have lived. We are not stumped by your questions, but we ride on the stream of your answers. We are not bothered by your problems because your problems have inspired the expansion or solution. We are as broad or as deep as the question that you ask because law of attraction will not match you up with the part of us that is different than the part of you. We can only be as wise as your wisdom, as loving as your love, and as smart as your brilliance. We cannot be more than you allow us to be. So when you find something in us that you deem worthy or wonderful or beneficial, you must understand that it is a pure reflection of who you are because you could not get it from us if you were not it also. We have enjoyed this interaction immensely. There is great love here for you. And as always, we remain eternally incomplete. So good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It can happen when you get out of the way. If you ask for it, it is given when you get out of the way.